What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we'll be looking at Rhino Shield's brand new iPhone SE case lineup. Now don't be scared because yes, this also works for the iPhone 7 and the 8 as well. But Rhino Shield sent me a variety of cases ranging from their Mod NX line, the Crash Guard NX line and also their Solid Suit cases. They also sent me a lens attachment for the iPhone SE which I'm excited to test out at the end of the video. Now these cases range in prices from 32 US dollars for the Mod NX and Crash Guard NX cases and the solid suit costs a little bit more for about 35 US dollars. Now if that price is too high then I got you covered. You could use my discount code Siobhan at checkout or you can also just use the links down below in the description if you want some deals on these cases. Okay so let's jump onto it. So we all know that Rhino Shield cases are made from material called shock spread if you didn't know. Yes, they use shock spread which isn't just the normal TPU cases we're all used to. So first we're going to look at the solid suit cases and the solid suit cases are great. Like this is the case that has the least amount of customization options after final purchase. So if you feel like to switch up your style, you can only change the color of the buttons. The reason for that is, is because unlike the Crash Guard NX and the Mod NX cases, the solid suit is a fixed all-in-one traditional case design. Now, the Rhino Shield solid suit fits nice and tightly around the iPhone. It's quite actually hard to take off if you're using the wrong technique, which is kind of good because that means drop protection is also going to be great. Now, the customizable buttons aren't loose despite not being physically attached to the case. My biggest complaint with their solid suit case is that the edges are kind of slippery when it's new, but after like a couple weeks of using it, it will start to form its own grip, which is good. The handling of the Rhino Shield solid suit case will also be affected by the material you choose on the back. The carbon fiber back from my perspective, perspective, from my perspective, offers the most texture for your hands, followed by the microfiber case. The leather cases aren't too bad either. And followed by like the normal wood cases those offer like the least amount of texture in my testing now accessing the buttons with the rhino shield case is definitely stress-free in fact the buttons are so great it feels like there isn't a case at all the mute switch is easily accessible through the larger than average cutout and the lightning cable cutout is large enough for whatever third-party cable you plan on using the camera cutout is also very open, meaning that you could use the iPhone SE lens adapter. And personally, if you're looking to get one of these lenses from Rhino Shield for the iPhone SE, I'll just get the wide angle lens. And I think it comes two in one with the wide angle and the macro lens because we all know that the iPhone SE lacks that feature compared to like the iPhone 11s or 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max. They came with a, a secondary lens. So if you want to have that same feature, then I'll definitely buy this wide angle lens attachment for the iPhone se which i'll compare later on at the end of the video so make sure you stay tuned for that okay now let's talk about the mod nx and crash guard nx cases to me the only difference between the two is the fact that the mod nx case comes paired with a free backplate while the crash guard nx doesn't but the crash guard also comes with a free um backplate sticker or i'd like protective film so that's good as well now the rhino shield mod and crash guard nx cases is also one of the few cases that offers the iphone a lot of drop protection and customization i'm going to compare these two as the same so i'm going to talk about them as the same because they are the same they only come with different attachments so as you can see right here these are actually bumper cases and these kind of cases are perfect for people who like to display the original design of their iphone since it's a bumper style case you can feel the back of the device as it only only wraps around the sides covering as little as possible now this is also a perfect option if you like have a skin on your phone which rhino shield also offers now as i mentioned these two cases are crazy customizable the case has exchangeable parts that can be changed to your own preference this includes an exchangeable buttons exchangeable rims and exchangeable back plates another plus for this case is that it has the ability to use it as a bumper case as i mentioned earlier or you could just switch it out for a full cover case by swapping between its rims and back plate so obviously the rear and the front of the phone is going to be exposed because it's open so if you're worried about that leaving the back and the front naked Rhino Shield also offers a front and rear glass protectors for your shiny new iPhone SE. So if you still want to show the front and the back of your design, you can do so while being fully protected. Now finally, let's talk about the lens. Now the lens was something that caught me by surprise. I didn't even know that Rhino Shield offered this kind of stuff. 
so yeah installing the lens adapter is simple all you have to do is just attach it to the back plate whichever back plate you have or if you have the solid suitcase you could just attach it to the back of the camera with the lens adapter and it will work perfectly fine now me personally i like the wide angle shots but surprisingly it came with a two-in-one like macro and wide angle shots and hopefully i'm gonna go outside and show you guys what it looks like all right guys so it's finally time to test the wide angle and the macro lens that rhino shield sent us so it says 4k hd on it and as you can see on the iphone we have the lens attachment that you would attach to like this kind of case if you guys didn't know this is the mod nx case i just add a back plate on it and then the lens attachment so we're going to take some pictures with the standard lens and then we're going to attach the wide angle lens because as i mentioned earlier the iphone se does not come with a wide angle lens feature like the other iphones but it still has that same capable camera from the iphone 11 and also i think the 11 pro so that means the photos should look stunning so let's get started Okay guys, so to wrap things up, I think personally all the cases look good, but for me, I would go for the Modern X case just because of the flexibility of having that back plate come with the case and also being able to switch between a bumper case to a full case when I feel like and also having the option to add that lens adapter to the case as well is pretty cool. But let me know what you think down below in the comments. Don't forget you could use my code SHEVON to get a discount on any Rhino Shield purchase and also I provide links down below in the descriptions. As always, my name is Siobhan. Thanks for watching. If if you're new don't forget to subscribe and drop a like signing out